Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright Trilogy for the Nintendo Switch. Yeah! Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and special thanks to our friends over at Capcom for providing a copy of this game and sponsoring this series. Woohoo! It's crime fighting time! Yeah! Oh, I was gonna say that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is where we left off. Uh, E3 is coming up, so we're kind of all disheveled, but uh, we said something to Matt or whatever, and he took off, so he's gone. All right, so I think... I think we have to go here. Creepy. Yeah. I don't really understand what she's dressed as or anything. Cosplay. Oh. Let me see. Hotel lobby, maybe? No, that's wrong. Uh... Hallway. Ugh, creepy. And here. There we go. Now we're on the right track. Okay. March 21st, Skatewater Hotel on Guards Hotel Room. Ah, looks like Miss Andrews isn't here! Hmm, that's not good. I still have a few questions I want to ask her. And she has that psyche lock on her heart, right? Hmm, well, we don't know much have... We don't have much of a choice. I guess we'll have to come back later. Mm, I guess we will. I guess we will. Whoa, why is it Aquaman's spear there? <laughs> Aquaman's spear? Well, it's not exactly, uh, but... <laughs> it's the Nickel Samurai spear. That's pretty yeah. cool looking. Oh, well, I guess we can go back to Karita's room. Nope, he's not... Well, of course he wouldn't be there. Why, why would he be there? That doesn't oh, make sense. Oh, Luke. Such, so, you're so dark. Mmm. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And there's Lada! Anything new to say on her? No. What about... Do you know who this is? Um, do you know anything? Uh, I've told you how many times now! I'm a journalist! I've got so much info running lamps in my head! I forget things here and there, you know? How it is? You being a game journalist and all? Hmm. Please, don't get so worked up over this! Ha! I don't care if you beat me! Be extra tough on kids! That's this gal's motto of learning youngsters! Hmm... I think she means teaching youngsters, but okay. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't look like there's anything else in this room, and we examined everything. So, mm. where did the manager go off to? I guess we can see if some people know about where she is. Well, Lada doesn't know, so that's obviously... Anything new happened? Nope. Hmm. Let's go to... Lobby again? What about you? Nope. Criminal Affairs. Ah, it's worse! Wait, you already talked to him. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to him. Uh, try the suicide report. I don't like to look uh, through reports. I like sewer, sewer. I like suicide reports even less. Losing my voice. Worst of all, the reports that have multiple parts like that one. That has two. Two parts. What you just handed me is the first part of the report. Here is the second. Well, thanks, Edgeworth. The second part of the report is an attempted suicide. The attempter's name is... Miss Andrews! Oh my gosh! Uh, Miss Andrews! Um, what did she do? She... she tried to kill herself? She doesn't seem like that kind of person to try to kill herself, though. I know, she feels like she's so together with everything. You think she's a strong career woman? That's just what she wants you to think. And Adrian Andrews, she has a certain secret that she's always trying to hide. Hmm, her dependent nature. That's what she's really like on the inside. Miss Andrews dependent? Talk about the exact opposite of what that woman is. Okay. I know, right? He doesn't have anything That else lady to... was even intimidating oh, to me. Um, what's this about Miss Andrews having a dependent nature? 
Miss Andrews attempted suicide was a few days after the death of Miss Pax. In Pax. And? And why did Adrian Andrews think about committing suicide? Because she had apparently lost her will to live. Lost her will? But why would she? Huh? Her pillar of strength, her mentor, was gone forever. That's why. Why would that... Is that what they call following someone to the grave? After her attempted suicide, Adrian Andrews started attending counseling sessions. She is someone who needs a person in whom which she can trust absolutely. And once she finds that person, she'll do anything she can to keep them near. Without such an anchor in her life, her crippling anxiety stifles her ability to live. Wow. Whoa, that's deep. And that's... that's the nature of her dependency on others. When Celeste suddenly committed... died, uh, the world before her turned pitch dark. That's according to Adrian Andrews herself. Then that means her super confident attitude... It's all a facade. Whoa. She's only copying her mentor's behavior to hold herself together. How terrible. Attempted suicide report added to the court record. Okay, this is it's really dark. Mm. I didn't want to know that about her. I'm going to forget everything that just happened. I'm just going to give her the benefit of the doubt. Right. She's probably fine. She should be in that room now. Let's go back. Wow. That was probably the last thing we needed to I do. I didn't want to hear any of that. Is that even relevant to the case? We'll find out, won't we? <sighs> March 21st, Gatewater Hotel. Oh, Miss Andrews is here. Must have gone for a walk. But it looks like she's talking with someone. That's Francisca Von Karma. Whoa. Miss Von Karma? What are you doing here? Um, well, you see, I'm this lawyer, so... You've got some nerve following me around. Following you? Wait, wait a second. Uh, that's you, Miss Von Karma! You're the one doing the following! Pearls? You're always following after that Mr. Detective with the little beard! Me? Following after Scruffy? Don't make me laugh, little girl. Let me show you something interesting. Little girl. <laughs> Oops. Um... What? What is that? An electromagnetic receiver. I planted a tracking device on that detective. Wow. And with this, I know that fools every move. That's really creepy. So that noise we heard was her this receiver. I feel really sorry for poor Detective Gumshoe right about now. Now then, let's stop wasting time. Adrian Andrews! Y uh, yes Think hard about what we just discussed. Understood? Uh, all right. What were those two talking about just now? She seems a little dazed, doesn't she? Mm, okay. We should be able to talk to her now. Alright, the motive for murder. Do you have any ideas? Oh, as to... As to why Mr. Corita was murdered. Why would you ask me about such a thing? I'm, I'm... just doing my job, so uh, do you have any ideas or not? Okay, now we can do this. Bum, bum, bum. M -m Miss Andrews! Uh, sorry, but there's nothing more I have to add to this conversation. It's a psyche lock, Mr. Nick! Mmm, yes, there's getting to be more and more of these lately. Alright. Good thing girl, uh, Pearls gave you that Magatama then. Let's do this! Hopefully, we have enough stuff. My gosh. She's hiding a lot. Motive for murder. So why was uh, Juan Corita murdered? If you ask me, I think you know the reason he was killed. Hmm. Why are you hiding things? Don't you realize you're putting Mr. On Guard's life in danger by your actions? Uh, 
Why do you ask questions for which I have no answers? The truth is, I was not that close to Mr. Kurita at all. You were not that close, eh? That's right. I've never been good at being intimate with any other people. You're not good at being intimate with another person. Somehow, I highly doubt that. Okay. So we need to prove yeah. that she's been intimate. Not according to... Yeah, according to Edgeworth, she does get attached to people, though. And here we go. Reliable sources say Juan Carita has been getting close with a mysterious yet beautiful manager to the stars. That looks like intimacy. Yep, Let's I think try so. It. You and Mr. Carita had an intimate relationship, did you not? A silly third-rate tabloid article. If you even had half your wits about you, you wouldn't believe such rubbish. Well, it seems quite a few people have already brought, uh, bought into this story. <laughs> As to be expected in a world filled with crooks and liars. Note to self, stay on her good side. In any case, I despise interpersonal relationships like that. I see, however... What if there was a need for you to get close to someone? Me? Need to get close to Mr. Karina? As if there was ever such a need. Didn't you get close to Mr. Karina for this person's sake? The person she was closest to, Celeste. For that. Celeste Impax, your mentor. How did you know about Celeste? Aha! Miss Impax, uh, she committed suicide, did she not? But it looks like no one knows why. Right before her untimely end, she was Juan Carita's manager. So I believe you got close to Mr. Carita so you could find out more about her suicide. Y you have a great imagination. You may have a future yet as a slimy muckwrecker for a putrid third-rate tabloid. Wow, M Miss Miss Andrews. The, uh, there was no mystery surrounding her death. None. It would be pointless for me to force myself into a relationship for nothing. Hmm, is that really true? Was there really no mystery at all? I don't believe you were completely at ease with the way her end was resolved. Hmm. hmm. Probably. Wait. She tried to hurt herself. Um. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oops. Sorry, guys, I hit the wrong button. I should investigate and gather some more clues. Nope. No. Okay, we'll try again. I don't believe you were completely at ease with the way her suicide was resolved. That's right. So, where was Edge? Ah, there we go. Attempted hurt. Yep. I just don't want to keep saying that word. Kids channel. Get a hold of yourself. Hmm? If you want advice on doing yourself in, I suggest asking someone like the police. Oh, whoops. Wow. Whoops, whoops. She's uh, really defensive. Which translate to go take a walk off a short pier? The, there was no mystery surrounding her death. None. I presented the wrong file. It would be pointless for me to force myself into a relationship for nothing. Is that really true? Was there really no mystery? I don't believe you were completely at ease with the way that her end happened. Okay. So, this report! There we go. Miss Impact's end, uh, her final note was never found, now was it? <laughs> it looks like the police were under the suspicion that someone had hidden it. So she probably has two personalities, Amber, like a very strong-willed woman and a very, like, submissive or, like, shy woman. Like, okay. Like, one that <laughs> relies on people. Her demeanor's changing. Like, maybe the person who discovered her body was Mr. Carita. Wh one? And Miss Andrews, I believe you thought the same thing. That is why you became intimate with Carita. Ooh. Uh, I've sat by quietly and listened to your insulting ramblings long enough. Oh? It's true that Celeste was my mentor. However, allow me to say this again. It had nothing to do with me. 
I didn't even know that her suicide note was never found. I mean her end note. I'm a person that doesn't care about what goes on in the lives of others. That's the impression you like to give. However, I don't think that's who you really are. What? I have evidence that says otherwise. This is proof that Celeste Impacts was someone very special to you. Your own thing, maybe. I don't know. I hope yeah. so. Miss Andrews, you you nearly went through with it too, didn't you? Went through with what? Ending your life. <laughs> Miss Andrews, you look and act like a very strong woman who has it all together. You don't ask for anyone's help relying only on yourself. Y yes, I've been very independent ever since I can remember. However, that is all just a lie. A mask. A facade. <sighs> You've always searched out people on whom you can depend on. Th that's... <laughs> you were dependent on Miss Impacts, weren't you? Which is why, when she passed away, you lost everything you had at that moment. Stop! <sighs> when Celeste passed away so suddenly like that... I died a death of my own, but no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't stop thinking about what had become of her note. You must have heard about the police report, then. The one that said the police suspected Mr. Corita of hiding Miss Impact's note. You heard about it and thought to recover it from him by getting close, am I right? <sighs> if that's the case, then everything changes. Well, what do you mean? What topic did we start this conversation on again? Oh, that's right. Uh, it was, why was the victim killed? Exactly. Someone miss... An somehow, Miss Andrews. It seems that you have become the one with a reason to want Mr. Corita dead. M me Miss Impacts was everything to you. And then she... left. And you would do anything to find out who ended her life. Even commit murder. Murder? Gotcha. I don't feel like she did it, though, but maybe we have to get the truth out of her like this. Well, she could have, but I don't know. Aha, motive for murder. It's true. I am a woman who can only live in insecurity. I'm physically small, and I don't really have a lot of self-confidence. I... I've pushed against all that, though. I've pushed against all that, though. I've tried to live strongly. I never wanted anyone to find out the truth. Miss Andrews! This one thing. It's the one thing I wanted to take with me to the grave. It was my secret. Mine and mine alone. I'm... I'm sorry. You probably think I'm a worthless human being right now, don't you? Please, Miss Andrews, all I want to know is the truth. After Celeste passed away, I heard that someone had hidden her suicide note. And that someone was Juan Carita. Celeste. Without her... Without her, I became scared. Everything... Everything seemed... Everyone seemed like they were out to get me. So you got close to Carita to recover her suicide note, right? <sighs> Looks like the tablet reported the truth after all. Ironic, isn't it? Well, like they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if they purposely added fuel to the fire, they keep the celebrity world burning. Yeah, okay. Um, but as for the... her ending note, I didn't and wouldn't kill anyone for it. It just doesn't suit me, that's all. Well, that's enough for now. I still have work to do, so... I understand. Oh, I have one small favor to ask. My attempted ending of my life. I'd like for you to keep it a secret, okay? Miss Andrews! <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. If people found out about my weakness, I would sooner choose to die than live. All right, I understand. We'll keep it a secret. But we're probably not. Miss Andrews, I guess she's the overthinking type. She probably never says anything without carefully thinking it through first. Thank you for your discretion. Oh, boy. Mr. Nick, can I ask you 
do something. Oh, Nick's gonna use it. What is it? Miss Andrews has been playing with the card in her hand since a little while back. That card. Oh yeah, I guess she has. Uh, Miss Andrews, what is that card that you're holding? Huh? Oh, this? I don't quite know. It just suddenly appeared in my handbag. Weird. What is it? It looks like a uh, seashell. Yeah, it does. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? I honestly don't remember owning this card. I wonder where I picked it up from. Her not remembering something clearly sounds like it would be a rare occurrence. Well, I must be off. I leave Mr. On Guard in your capable hands. Hmm. Mm, indeed. Oh, pearls. March 21st, Skatewater Hotel Hallway. Hallway. Well, I think we've gathered about all we can, Pearls. What do you think? But what about Mystic Maya? Is she alright? Oh, uh, Pearls, she looks so worn out by all this. She hasn't slept at all, and she's been walking all over the place with me today. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Um, let's go back to the office for a little while for some ice cream. You're really tired, right? Oh, no! I'm okay, really! I'm fine, I really am! You don't look fine to me. Okay, so... Uh... Oh, that's right. Mystic Maya is still gone. Yep, she's still kind of gone. Nope. Nothing for him to say. Hotel Lobby, maybe? Creepy lady. Well, we can go back to our office. Let's see what that does. And feed the plants! Charlie! Charlie needs plant food badly, yes. March 21st, law offices. So... Well, we did find one thing out for sure. Miss Andrews has a motive. Oh, you mean Miss Impact's final note? That's right, Pearls. She also has the one to discover. She was also the one to discover the victim's body. Clever. Oh, oh no. no! Ah, Mr. Nick, I'm trying to see her! Oh, boy. Oh my gosh, she put one on you. Uh, hello? Um, right in company law offices. Who's this? Mr. Attorney, you're not answering a phone? Maya, wh where, where's Maya? As I promised, I have not gone within a few feet of her this whole time. Oof. <laughs> Which is why I suppose she's absolutely famished. What? What? So I suggest you win a quick acquittal, my friend. Oh no! At any cost, wouldn't you agree? Wait! Maya, l let me hear her! Very well. Ask my... Ask my... Maya, is that you? Sis! Ask my sis! Uh... Maya! Maya! Blasted! He cut me off! Mr. Maya sent ask my sis, didn't she? Sis? What does she mean by that? Probably Mia. Come on, Phoenix. Wait, is that- Come on, Phoenix. You're a hopeless one. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah! Ghost! <laughs> Mia! I have a message from Maya. So come, ask me anything you want about her, Phoenix. Uh, is she seeing anybody? No. Oh my gosh. I'm talking about, about these kidnapping yeah, Phoenix. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so how's Maya doing? She's safe. For now. Well, that's encouraging. That kidnapper is one to keep his word, it seems. Hmm. I'm glad to hear she's safe, but Mia, how did you know? She's a ghost. As soon as she was locked up, Maya called for me. I read the note that she left. Then I gathered as much information about her surroundings as I could. I didn't know you could use spirit channeling like that. Pretty smart of her. Okay. Yeah, it is. The kidnapper. The kidnapper. What is he like? I don't know. Apparently, Maya went to answer a phone call at the hotel and was drugged there. And? She didn't see the face of her attacker. Well, that's convenient. Maya is locked up in a very dark place right now. 
I'll tell you everything I heard when I was with her. When you were with her? Date. Question, 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 oh question. God, this is gonna be creepy. Probably. I don't wanna know. Oh, I'm starving! Yikes. I could really go for some apple pie! I mean, at a time like this, sweets are the only way to go! I have to stay positive! He promised he wasn't gonna kill me, so I'm not gonna be ended! Sis, I wonder if you're with Nick right now! Oh, so we get to be Detective Maya. I guess. There's all sorts of things piled up here, but it's too dark for me to see! Okay, so that was a bust. There's a door here. Drat! It's locked! Hmm, but this door's lock seems easy enough to open. On TV, the hero always uses a plastic card or a stiff piece of cardboard or... Then click! They magically open the door! I wonder if there's a card like that around here that I could use. Okay. What's this? It feels like there are a lot of glass bottles here. And these, they feel like barrels. I'll pass. Too bad I'm really hungry and not really thirsty. Well, you should probably try to drink something, depending on how many days you've been here. I know. Better than nothing. Starvation is not fun. All right, so the only other thing to click on is this. Huh, someone dropped a card here. It kind of looks like a business card, but there's no name on it! Interesting. It's the same card as before. Mm hmm Hmm, it's a picture of a seashell, I think, but it's so dark in here, it's hard to see. What a strange card! Oh, that's it! This shell card! If I use this, maybe I can get the door open! This might be my key out of here! I had a feeling this card might be useful! I'm such a genius! Alright, now if you'll excuse me, Mr. Kidnapper... Aha! Uh -huh. I did it! Okay, now I'm getting the heck out of here! I shouldn't keep Nick waiting or worried. Wait, what? Maya got out? To be continued! What a cliffhanger! What? Whoa! What? But how did she... But wasn't he watching her the whole time? You would think so. But anyway, guys, today is a short episode. Thank you so much for watching. We finished the rest of the day one investigation, found out some pretty interesting things, and also left on uh, Maya escaping from her captor. Yeah. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell us what your favorite part of this episode was. And reminder that we have a lot of great videos uh, going on K-Wing's Let's Plays right now, so check it out, including SAO, later today at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. See you with more SAO at 3 o'clock as always. Bye-bye.